Welcome back to the channel. As many of you already know, I'm a massive Power Rangers fan. I've got numerous toys and collectibles of the various Power Rangers series thrown throughout my collection. Um, you could probably make out the Power Rangers curtains that I've got behind me that block out the sun for my home theater here. So I was a little bit nervous and a little bit excited, 50-50, about what was in store once Hasbro took over the toy and basically the entire branding of the Power Rangers franchise away from Bandai. Now Bandai, of course, has been the exclusive toy manufacturer and distributor for the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers toys in America since day one. In fact, not just Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, but Power Rangers in general. So if you lived in America and you bought a Power Rangers toy, well, it's always been Bandai. And that is until now, because Hasbro has come to the table introducing their Lightning Collection figures, and I was very excited to get sent these. So I am very curious to take a look at these and compare and contrast them and see what the improvements are compared to the Bandai, and just uh, to see what they look like overall, because quite frankly, just to the naked eye, they look amazing. So let's take a closer look, shall we? So let's go ahead and compare the packaging between Hasbro and Bandai. So on the right we have the Legacy Collection Red Ranger from Bandai, and then of course on the left we have the new Lightning Collection from Hasbro. Now, as far as the box, there's very stark differences. The Bandai was the black packaging, and then later on it went to this silver packaging for their later releases, but for the most part, most of the Legacy Collection figures were in this black packaging. Um, many of them were build -Zord figures as well. So that is one stark difference between the Hasbro Lightning Collection thus far. However, look at this detail in this packaging. So Bandai, just open window on the side. Hasbro, nice glorious picture of the White Ranger there. Then on the back, we have this beautiful stock photo of the White Ranger. And then on the back of the Bandai packaging, we had the assortments for which Power Rangers you needed to get to collect each piece of the Megazord. And to me, the Lightning Collection packaging is far superior than that of the Legacy Collection from Bandai. In fact, it is very reminiscent to me of the SH Figure Arts packaging, of which we got on the 25th anniversary San Diego Comic Con exclusive Red Ranger and Green Ranger packaging. Very similar. Um, size is a little different, but other than that, it's a very similar packaging style, and I'm a big fan of it, honestly. Let's go ahead and open up the White Ranger and see how good this figure looks. As you can tell, this is a very highly detailed, very well hand-painted item. In fact, I was very impressed with the level of detail they went to. A lot of times, Bandai struggled with paint detailing and things like gold especially. They were notorious for painting things a mustard yellow instead of an actual gold. This is a beautiful metallic looking gold. It is Now it doesn't have too much of a sparkle, so there's not a whole lot of glittery effect to it, but that's okay. The chest piece itself is a PVC rubber feeling and you can actually take this thing off if you so choose. Um, I will tell you that it is going to be a pain in the arm to get this because I think you would have to remove these arms to get this off, but it is not attached to his chest or his back and it is a free moving piece of material. So if you do, so whatever choose, want to take that off, feel free. Head of course has some pivots. You can spin it around like the Exorcist, up and down. The helmet, lots of good detailing there. Again, excellent paint line detail with the black inlay. His belt, looks great. He's got his holster for his weapons. Hands, he's got a kind of a quasi closed fist and then an open fist here as his standard. Boots again have excellent paint detail. The great thing about these, these are very highly posable figures. This Lightning series has tons of points of articulation. Um, but as far as accessories, we have Saba, who has excellent paint detail as well. Lots of detail here, especially in the face. I mean, they've got very, very, very minute lines in here and they were able to color in the black parts of the tiger mane and the gold on the shield excuse me, the coin, emblem, uh, the blade is painted silver, it's got gold etching, I mean they just really did an excellent job with this and this is just an accessory. So there's Saba, fits into the sheath, piece of cake, looks great. And then we also have, oh! 
I thought you knew what you were doing. This blue impact item, it's got a little bit of a wedge here on the side. So you can stick in Saba and you can use this for some fight scenes where you're posing and taking pictures of your figures and you can have Saba going into this and making an impact into an enemy or you can actually use this as like a Saba trophy base where you can plant this on the ground and have Saba sticking straight up out of the side of it and then you can use that as a sword holder. Additionally we have two closed fists that come with this. So if you want to pose him differently you can just pop out the original hands and you can put in either or one or two of these these closed fists and then lastly we have the Tommy Oliver head sculpt so this is pretty neat especially because it actually has the ponytail that was something I did not think was actually going to be coming on this figure and then lo and behold here we are we have a fully detailed Tommy Oliver sculpt the likeness is really well done in my opinion very very good job on the likeness for Jason David Frank, aka Tommy Oliver, in the Power Rangers franchise series. But ponytail, nice detail. And that is the White Ranger. So let's go ahead and look at Lord Zed. And then now we have this amazing Lord Zed figures. And guys, I cannot stress to you how impressed I am with this Lord Zed figure. Honestly, without a doubt, this is the best Zed figure we have ever got. Super detailed, all sorts of posable, movable areas. I mean, he's got midsection, side to side section, moving. I mean, he is really 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 bendy in all all different places so the amount of poses you'll be able to put him in are pretty much endless i'm very impressed with this so we have his his tubes running throughout his entire body held in place by this center chest piece so don't worry about losing them because they are in fact kind of fused whoop. There we go, yeah. You can see it there. They are part of the chest piece, so you don't have to worry about these like coming out and losing them anywhere. But he does come with, of course, his power staff. And one of the accessories you get is this red lightning thing. You can wrap around, have some fire slash lightning going on on his staff there. But the face, Excellent, excellent job. This, again, nice and bendy. You don't have to worry about snapping it off or anything like that. Great detail there on the brain bucket. But excellent sculpting. Again, you see all the lines of his musculature. Highly well-defined figure. For $19.99, I mean, this is this is a fantastic bargain in my opinion. Other accessories he comes with is a couple of different posable hands. So you've got this hand. And then you also have a closed fist. So you want to use that. And then lastly, we have his, whoop, it's, it's very tiny the monster orb ball so you put this in Lord Zed's hand there and then when he throws it down he makes the monsters grow and then it's Megazord battle time but excellent excellent little add on there I'm very excited they chose to include that because it really ties the figure in really well and it just ups the ante with his posability and display factors for any kind of diorama that you want to set up together but compared to I don't know like the five inch Lord Zed we got years ago, I mean, it's night and day difference. Like this, this looks like a McDonald's toy compared to this lightning collection figure. Like this only bends in a few areas. Uh, it just, I mean, you know, this, this is just not the best toy <laughs> in comparison. I mean, talk about height, I'm just overall, like even, even the, you know, the tubing, it, they just like, painted it on it's it's not even separate whereas this is completely separate and movable and you can interact with it so yeah to say again the least that this is the best Lord Zed figure we've ever gotten is a uh, night and day yes I mean I don't, I don't understand how anybody could 
not be impressed with this figure. So if if anything from this Lightning Collection you decide you're on the fence of, or maybe you're not sure if you want to pick up, definitely do not sleep on this Lord Zed figure because it is fantastic. Guys and girls, make sure you let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are of the Lightning Collection. Are you going to get one? Are you going to get two? Are you going to get five? Let me know. And if you're interested in picking up any of the items that are in this video, I'll be sure to put Amazon links down in the video description box below. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing hitting that notification bell so you'll be the first to know every time I upload a new video. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.